Andy Ruiz Jr. <laughs> that's uh that's a man's man is what that's, that is. That's that's my guy right there. That's uh, I feel like that is every dad bod guy's guy. Because no, no question about it. He he made believers out of everybody. Look, that guy's got some quick hands. He lays down Joshua in the third round twice, and then he lays him down in the seventh round for good. It was twice again. But That's right. Man, and now did you did you watch the fight or did you just see like the no, sequences? I saw all the, I saw all the the highlights, all the knockdowns. Um, I will tell you that Dazon had a great day, oh, and yeah. I loved that they shared this thing out like crazy. You know, we used to live in a day and age where everybody was so afraid to share their content. Even uh, even uh, like UFC wouldn't uh, wouldn't share like the finishes. Like you couldn't yeah. see the end of the fight. They'd show you clips throughout it. But they would never share out like like how it finished. Well, and then no, they try to no. get everybody shut down that was sharing it. That's right. And yeah. then Dazone was like, "No, sir, no, sir. We're we're pumping this thing out. We're putting our logo on the bottom of it. We're telling you if you that you think this is exciting, come download Dazone, stream with us, and and check out the content we got because we're giving it to you. And I thought it was awesome. I I thought it was amazing. Oh yeah. So I, I've got Dazone for now. now I, I, I mean, you I'll, now I'll, got it. Yeah, I got it for this fight. That's so right. I got it for this one. I I sat and watched the whole thing, and this was it. Looked early on. I'll tell you where Anthony Joshua went wrong. He tried to be Deontay Wilder, and he ain't got the same kind of power that Wilder's got. But after Wilder knocked out Brazil, like last month, yeah. in that first round with that one punch, that's what Joshua was trying to do here. And Ruiz is a better boxer than Brazil was. No, like no that's doubt. It, just the way it is. So all that stuff goes on, and when Joshua couldn't get that knockout, he kind of got gassed. It looked like he didn't even really prep for this fight. I, see, everybody says that. Man, like you got gassed fighting a guy that is substantially in worse shape than you. No, we're not getting – you don't get to use that as an oh, excuse. No, I, I'm with this, you. It's not an excuse. This guy, this guy he got his ass, ass. You know why you were tired? Because you were getting your ass whipped. That's why you got tired. Yeah, I get tired I when somebody's punching me in the face too. Like it's it's a lot harder to breathe <laughs> when somebody's beating you about the head. Okay, that's so, this, Ruiz this, destroyed this, him. Yeah, destroyed he just destroyed him. I mean, he beat him from from top to bottom. Here's so the one negative. I think this is great for boxing. I think it's great for the zone. I think it's great for everything about the sport. But the one negative is what this does is it shows you the two best guys that supposedly were the big heavyweights that we were waiting to fight. We see how flawed the sport is still in the sense that they have been allowed to handpick, cherry pick every opponent. They've been super careful and super cautious about how who they fight, when they fight them. And then you get a guy that can't fight. So a month out, this new guy throws in. You don't really get to handpick this guy, but you're also not really worried about him. And the one guy you didn't personally vet and select very well, no, he, carefully. He personally in. selected him too. Like that's well, the he issue. He personally selected him too, but it was his second choice. Yeah, you it was a, it saying? was a last minute kind of. You know how he got the a, fight, right? You heard how he got it. Well, what's his name? Yeah, so but uh, Instagram DM. Like, that's oh. it. Ruiz when the other guy oh, had to oh, drop how out. How he invited the guy. That's it. So it, okay. yeah, that's it. he. So Andy Ruiz and his manager DM'd. Uh, Eddie Hearn on Instagram and said, hey, we want the fight. Like, I just got done with this. And it, look, he's got a legit record. His oh, only no, loss legit, yeah. Yeah, that's right. was, uh, was to a champion. So, right. you know, he said, I want the fight. I'll do it. I'll be there in six weeks. Like, he just fought six weeks ago. I was just about to say, he just fought six weeks ago, and he only had, yeah, six weeks to prepare and train for this one. Um, it, th- there's, there's no reason – one of the one of the reasons I grew up liking boxing um, when I got to watch it as I was younger, and then the older I've gotten, we've kind of gone to MMA more than boxing. Is it truly is a sport where the underdog has a chance? In basketball, at no point in time will will the underdog will a team that's that's in the middle of the pack ever really win a championship. It's just never going to happen. NCAA tournament, yeah, because it's one game, right? It, that you but can see a seven a seed. They can't win a championship. They can make it to a uh, Sweet Sixteen. You can, can see a seven seed like yeah. UConn make it, like and win a championship. You can see uh, Butler uh, get within a, a shot, run. but that's right. 
They you can know. all make a they can all make a run in boxing. It's not a seven game series. It's not a, a a playoff grind. It's a we're in the ring, and if you lower your hands for just a second, and I catch you with one punch, it's over. Yeah, if I catch you in, in, in MMA. If I catch you with a kick or a knee or elbow, whatever, it's lights out. Oh yeah, anybody really can beat anybody if you're not focused at every second of the fight. Now I'll tell you what what good this does for boxing, right? Because you were talking about how they're cherry picking opponents and they're waiting and they're they just kind of keep hovering and they were trying to let the the Joshua Wilder fight simmer for a little bit. No. Uh, you you can't do that one because like there's significantly less money on the table now than there was. Like everybody wants that that goose egg, right? They all want that zero next to their name. That's right. But once you lose the goose egg. You got nothing to lose anymore. So maybe we can actually start getting Joshua Wilder, Joshua uh, uh, Fury, uh, another Fury Wilder, another, you know, all these, Whatever. all this stuff right. that we want to see, right? We start getting more fights. Yeah. Here's, here's what boxing really needs. And, and what sucks is, is like ESPN has some guy signed and DAZN has some guy signed. We yeah, that's making it a problem. League. Yeah, we need some type of league to say, no, 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 no. You guys are all fighting under this umbrella. Everybody. Everybody's going to make money. Everybody's going to fight. We're going to sell the TV rights. The zone can have some. ESPN can have some. NBC, whoever wants them, we'll start selling rights to. We'll pay-per-view these things. Um, but but you make – and then you make fights. You you kind of do what Dana White's done. Is, no, no, no. You're the best, and you're the runner-up. No, runner – yeah, you're next in line. You get a fight. And there's no backing out of it. If you back out, you give up the belt. Give me the belt, yeah. and I'm going to give well, up the belt. Well, and so WBC and uh, the WBO, WBA, all of these, like, they have their mandatory challengers. So if you don't already have something lined up that is of greater value, then they are going to make you fight these mandatory challengers, right? So, like, Dominic yeah. Brazil, he was actually a mandatory challenger. Like, that's yeah. that's how that goes. So, yeah, I... uh. I don't know. I'm I'm curious how they're going to go about this now because it, that fight between Wilder and Joshua is not worth near as much as it was before. It's still a big time fight, especially I, if I, I, see. And, and you're right; it's not going to get the normal eyes that maybe it wouldn't have gotten. But I think people who like boxing are still going to tune in. Like I think it's still going to be a big fight if we can see Joshua get off his butt, get in shape, and really prepare for a fight. And see, that's it. How funny is that to say? I mean, that dude looks like a, like friggin' Adonis, right? He looks like a Greek god, and we're yeah, talking about he how really he's not does. in shape. But, <laughs> oh, but that's but insane. I, I don't know. I don't know if the guy smokes two packs a day or what, but he didn't have the lungs, yeah. man. Oh yeah, he he couldn't handle he, he it. Did, yeah, he did not have the lungs. I he will got tell you this: he immediately lost the. It. That was his first fight in America. Uh, right. The next fight between these two, they've already announced that there will be a rematch. It's either going to be in November or December. And it will be in the UK. That's right. So, of course, it, I find it funny that these contracts are made up to where, okay, next go round, I still get to set all the rules, even though you beat me. That's that's. <laughs> like, it's it's something that bothers me greatly. You know how I feel about this. the The big boys always get to make the rules. Those who have the power make all the rules. Therefore, those who have no power get to make no rules, and they all the rules are set up to keep them from ever getting power. It's that's why I hate the NCAA, but it, it, it's it's just it is the game that it is. If Ruiz goes there and he beats the brakes off him again, then then no one could call it a fluke. No one could call oh, it yeah. an upset. And and now power goes to Ruiz and Joshua. You're a dude. Get in line. Go fight somebody else. Whatever. But these belts are mine. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I'm I'm with you. I uh, I am curious uh, because this is what Eddie Hearn was doing, right? Like he knew Josh was pretty good, but he may not be ready for a Wilder or Fury at this point. And like, I, I've always believed that, that they were like dodging Deontay Wilder because Wilder is still on a smaller level, right? Overseas, Joshua is this massive, you know, superstar, sells out Wembley Stadium, 70, 80,000 seats every time he fights, but he's only had like 22 fights. Like he's, he's still really young, all this kind of stuff. And, you know, Wilder, there's not, he has fought all of the best 
heavyweights other than like Joshua and like, he didn't get to fight Klitschko because Klitschko retired. I like it, say he retired. Yeah, so like the, he he has fought all of the ones that are active right now, and the only one left was Fury and Joshua. It, Wilder's not ducking anybody. Like he wants the belts, he wants the zero next he's, to his name. He's been pretty comfortable. Yeah. He's been very selective on who he fights to, though. He he has been selective. And when like, he fights them. Yeah. Like I I think he is This is this is let's not let's not put it against anybody else, okay? I'm gonna put it against Joshua because the the that Wilder I mean, the, fight should have been made before That's right. The proof is like in there now. Yeah. But I mean but, the Wilder fight should have been made. It would have been massive. Absolutely. And it'll still be big. But it but won't be near what it was. Beat. Listen, this is no different than Floyd Mayweather's entire career is this. Oh, yeah. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to fight De La insane. Hoya until De La Hoya is 40 years old. I'm not going to fight Pacquiao until Pacquiao, Pacquiao, Pacquiao is 40. Pacquiao is 40. Like, like I'm going to wait and fight all these stars. Or if you've got the young up-and-comer kids, I'm going to fight them super early. That way they haven't uh, – progress they haven't built their like like they they haven't learned all the tricks that they know yeah um they haven't worked their technique out and i can beat them real quick and then say oh but, but i beat that guy and then he went on it goes on and wins 20 30 fights in a row and his only losses to me and i've got this incredible record you cherry pick when you fight who you want to fight at all times and, and i just you can hold all the belts you want you can hold all the time you can have that goose egg next to your name i just don't respect it i don't care no, it's it's tough to respect any of them. That fights anybody, gives us a good fight, isn't afraid of anyone, and they're not afraid to lose. That's fine. Sometimes losing, sometimes you walk into the ring, you get knocked out. Yeah, that's I'm I'm pumped. Like I got the zone for a month, right? It's it's a monthly thing. You can cancel right. it after whenever. But uh, but Triple G fights this weekend. I was against Stephen Rolls fights coming up. Yeah. So and then they announced that I think they're going to do. Uh, Canelo and uh, uh, Triple G September fourteenth. If Only- you like fighting, you're gonna keep the zone. Yeah. It's just it. like it's one. I don't. I don't know all the other things that are on it. But if you like boxing, you're you're keeping it because you want the content. Well, and if think, if you like boxing, you're also gonna get content. ESPN Plus because they got the top rank and UFC stuff. So like, that's right. You you like these uh, combat sports? The streaming apps are right there for you. I mean, that's it's exactly it's perfect. Right. 